Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you how to put Magic Lantern on a 64 gig card or a 128 gig card using a Macintosh computer as well as I'll be showing you how to do it on Mountain Lion which there's a few extra steps for people that have Mountain Lion. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your web browser um, and you will need an SD card reader. Uh, you cannot use your camera to hook up to the camera and do this. You have to use an external card reader for this to work. So go to Google you want to type in Mac boot uh, it will be the first option you will scroll down um, the first thing you're gonna you're gonna download is this right here under where it says note for mountain line mountain line users click OK Just go down underneath the picture here and you're gonna click right here where it says click here and OK now you're gonna downsize your downsize your browser right click open up a new folder and put it on your desktop at least for me this works pretty good I'm just gonna throw a folder on my desktop I'm gonna call it Mac boot once I've done that I'm gonna go over here right click or control click show and finder and uh, all your files should go to your download folder so um, if you need to get to your download folder and you don't get this uh, you have a different web browser you can just click on any one of your folders go to your name go to downloads and there it is. So MacBoot and MacBoot Command are the two things you need. So we're going to highlight both of those and we're going to drag and drop them into the folder. Now we're going to open up this folder. We can exit out of this. We're going to open up MacBoot Command first. Okay, once you've done that, uh, go on and open up MacBoot as well. So both of them should be unzipped and out of their files. And technically speaking, you don't even need these. So I could just delete these if I wanted to. So we could do, throw those in the trash now that both of those are open. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up MacBook Command. And it's not letting me open it up. Now that does happen. Let me show you how to fix that. If you ever try to open up a file and it won't let you open it up, we'll go to Security and Privacy. We're going to click down here. We're going to unlock it. Put in your password. Anywhere. So mainly this is allowing software to install from wherever it was downloaded. Before it was set up to where only Mac, uh, you could only install software downloaded from Macintosh pretty much. So we're going to go unlock that, pop back out. So we're going to open up MacBook command again. Uh, okay. And it's going to ask for my password. So I'm going to put it in. And once I've done that, MacBook opens up. If for some reason, let's say MacBook did not open up, because uh, MacBook does need to be outside this folder. You need to unzip the MacBook.class file before you use MacBook command. Uh, you just hit MacBook Command again, and it should open up no problems. There it is. If you don't do this process, your card will fail every time you try to make it bootable. <clears throat> so next, we want to set the max size at 128. We are going to make it DSLR bootable, and we're going to put debug on. Once that is complete, we're going to pop our SD card into the SD card reader, which I'm doing at this very moment. We're going to hit, uh, this pops up every time I connect anything to the computer, so I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to hit refresh. Once I've hit refresh, uh, I only have one option, disk one, card details. It's a 64 gig EX FAT. And now what I'm going to do is click prepare card. My card has been successfully prepared. So once that is complete, I'm going to exit out of Mac boot and all this. And I'm going to go to my card and leave it like that. So now I'm going to go back to the web browser. We're going to go back here, back to Google. We're going to type in Magic Lantern. Okay, you're going to do the first one, magiclantern.fm. Once you're here, you're going to go over to Downloads. And now we're going to click Direct Download. And we're going to click Save File. And we're going to exit out of the web browser again. I'm going to right click or control click show and finder so it's going to take me right to the file. There it is so I'm going to double click it and we're going to open it up if my computer will let me get to it. There it is. Alright and I'm going to now you could just pick whatever the .fir file and the ML folder and the user guide. You could just in the auto ex, the auto exec .bin file. Um, 
and whatever camera you have, the 50D, 60D. But I put them all on there because if I go over to, let's say I'm going to shoot with a buddy of mine and he has a 60D and he already has Magic Lantern on there um, and I've got the, the uh, .fir 60D file on my SD card, I could use my, my SD cards with his camera because it's already got Magic Lantern installed. So I just put them all on there. But if you just want, if you know it's just gonna be you shooting, you don't have to put all these extra. If you have like a 5D Mark II, which is the FIR file right here, you can just put that on there and not put any of these other files on there, except you do need the ML, the install file, and you need the audio uh, exec.bin file as well as the user guide. So now we're gonna drag and drop that onto my card. Once that is completed, um, we're going to jump over to my camera now. I'm going to show you Magic Lantern actually working on it. Pop the card in. Uh, it's already put it in the SD card. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit on. And I've got it in manual photography mode. And we're just going to hit the delete button down here. And as you can see, I've got Magic Lantern. And for any of you that are a little skeptical, we can go into here, format, and you can see it is a 64 gig SD card. Um, actually, I'll pop it out and show it to you guys. Um, I haven't really tested it out that much, but I'm so far I've been pretty happy with it. I uh, just got this, it's a scan disk, um, 64 gig, 45 megabytes card. So it was like 80 bucks. I'm pretty happy with it. So that there is how you put Magic Lantern on your Canon camera or on a 64 gig SD card, and then you can pop it in your Canon camera. You guys have a wonderful day. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at David D Images and Media Unlocked. You guys have a great day.